So, gaming as an adult. I've been playing video games for about 30 years now. I've seen the industry transform from beardy spods in the bedroom making games to the multi-million pound industry we have now. As I'm still in touch with my inner child, I wanted to talk to you about not how this was all green fields back when I was a lad, but more about the ways that adult gamers have had to adapt, or not, to still enjoy their hobby. Back in the day before age ratings were mandatory on game boxes, I used to find myself on the bus on the way home with my new purchase, hiding a particularly risque front cover for fear of people thinking that I'm some razzle, reading, pornaholic. But nowadays, I feel the same when I'm sitting on the back of the bus playing on my 3DS, especially games like Mario or Zelda or anything brightly coloured. Would it be any different if I was shooting people on Call of Duty on a PSP? Maybe, maybe not. So gamers of a certain age have got some sort of expectation that they perhaps should be playing the more adult-themed games, the Call of Duties, the Grand Theft Autos and the Far Cries. But the irony is, if you've ever had the misfortune to plug a headset in and play any of those games online, you'll probably see that the target audience is quite different. A barrage of high-pitched, unbroken voices screaming obscenities, talking about what they want to do to my mum and where a derogatory term for sexual orientation is used as the main ad adjective, it will soon have you reaching for the mute button. And heaven forbid if you're a female gamer, some of the abuse that I've heard from female friends about when gaming online is quite frankly frightening. So what's happened? Is there more of them or are they just louder? Are game publishers actively making games that appeal to this younger crowd, knowing that breasts and blood will sell? Or is it a fact that age restrictions nowadays don't mean that much and if little Timmy wants a certain game for Christmas, little Timmy's going to get it? The only thing that I will say is like my choice of books that I read, films that I watch, or music that I listen to, my choice of video games is entirely that, my choice. Maybe age has turned me into the sort of sandals and sock wearing curmudgeon who doesn't care about what people think of him. But I don't know. Ultimately, I'd much rather be playing what I enjoy, and if that's being seen as the weird, quiet guy on the back of the bus catching Pokemon, I prefer that over screaming homophobic obscenities down a microphone at a load of 12-year-olds while shooting generic zombies, aliens, soldiers in the same brown, gritty backdrop. When you've been playing video games from before they were fashionable, I think it's easier to find enjoyment in things that are fun rather than just playing things that are supposed to be cool. Humanoid detectors. Humanoid